Would you have done something differently than President Biden during the past four years? Uh, there is not a thing that comes to mind in really? terms of, and I've been a part of, of, of most of the decisions that have had impact. No one asked you that you are not Biden and you're not like Trump. What are you for? What's different about you? Can a person be more boring? Let me tell you guys, you know why I like Elizabeth Warren on the other side? She's a fighter. Yeah. And she, by the way, her and I are opposite on 95% of policies. But there's something unique about Elizabeth Warren. Mm -hmm. There's something. Same with Bernie. Bernie, yep. dude, what is different about AOC? Do you know why I believe AOC is one of those that can have legs long term? Dude, say something, like have some brass. Mm -hmm. Nothing. No, this is it. That's your bet, David. Absolutely demolishes Whoopi Goldberg, Joy Behar, Sonny Hostin, and The View for their ridiculous statements and their really bizarre interview here with Kamala Harris. Let's get into this clip here from Valuetainment and the PBD podcast where Patrick Bet David absolutely destroys these woke idiots over on The View. Sonny, I believe, asks Kamala a question about Sonny, Rob. Let's do Sonny first. Sonny asks Kamala a question about uh, uh, how different she is than Biden, this is the answer she gives. Go ahead, Rob. If anything, would you have done something differently than President Biden during the past four years? Uh, there is not a thing that comes to mind in really? terms of, and I've been a part of, of, of most of the decisions that have had impact. Not anything. Not a, by the way, that's a crazy thing to say because one of Kamala Harris's catchphrases since she's been going on this media tour has been, you know, she said it, she famously said it. She thought it was this, <laughs> this banger line that she said in the debate with Donald Trump, where she was like, you guys don't, don't remember. I'm not Donald Trump. And I for sure am not Joe Biden. It's like, well, seems like you're not much different from Joe Biden. If there's not a single thing that comes to mind when, when Whoopi Goldberg or in this instance, Sonny Hostin asked her on the view, what would you do differently from, from Joe Biden? She can't think of a single thing. I think this is also stemming from the fact that Kamala Harris doesn't really think about policy because it doesn't matter to her. She doesn't. The, the Democrats don't care about policy. They care about, hey, guys, I'm not Donald Trump. Donald Trump evil. Vote for me instead because I like power. That's it. Hey, they are asking her, hoping she gives a better Something, answer. Something, yeah. Watch this one. Go ahead. Well, especially independent voters really want this to be a change election mm -hmm. and that they tend to break for you in terms of thinking about change mm -hmm. uh you you are a member of the president administration mm -hmm. uh, under a harris administration what would the major changes be and what would stay the same sure well i mean i'm obviously not joe biden oh, but oh. also i'm not donald trump i have i, I don't pre-watch these you guys know that i didn't know that they were going to play this clip but it's so embarrassing that she says she keeps saying this on so many different shows that she goes on. And then when she's asked, like, what are you going to change, you dumb idiot? What are you changing? Well, I'm not Joe Biden and I'm damn sure I ain't Donald Trump. Cue the applause button, guys. Cue the applause lights. Give me the applause. It's like that's not a that's not the line that you think it is. You sound like an absolute idiot right now. Of what oh, this stop next it. generation of leadership right looks like. Yeah, where I I stop it. I mean, you cannot. No one asked you that you are not Biden and you're not like Trump. What are you for? What's different about you? Can a person be more boring? Let me tell you guys, you know why I like Elizabeth Warren on the other side? She's a fighter. Yeah. And she, by the way, her and I are opposite on 95% of policies, but there's something unique about Elizabeth Warren. Mm -hmm. There's something- Same with Bernie. Bernie, yep. dude. What is different about AOC? Do you know why I believe AOC is one of those that can have legs long term? Dude, say something like have some brass. Mm -hmm. Nothing. No, this is it. Mm -hmm. I, it, it, it dude, if, if they hired Apple CMO from the year when they came out with the 1984 campaign, if they went and hired Coca-Cola CMO, McDonald's CMO, if they brought Tony Robbins in, if they put all these four people in the same room, with her, she still wouldn't be marketable. Did you hear what I just said? Yeah. You get Tony, you get the CMO of Coca-Cola, McDonald's, and Apple in the same room. She's boring. Yeah. You cannot make a boring brand marketable. Mm -hmm. 
There's never been somebody more boring than this candidate. And, oh, my gosh. But that's they, what they're doing this week. This week, they're trying to... Th- 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 let's face it. She's not campaigning this week this is sort of a fundraising comedy tour you look at all the places she's went she's going for laughs she's going for likability it says i saw it re- referred to as the fundraising comedy if you enjoy content like this then make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel it really does help me out a ton let's get back to the video tour and i think that's exactly what's going on here they're raising money this week they're trying to get people laughing with her they're trying to give her something pat that's interesting so this week is also you know leonard nimoy god rest his soul Remember, you know, all the things in search of. Well, right now she is in search of interesting because there is no interesting that sticks to her. There is no substance that sticks to her. And right now this is a this is a tour this week trying to see, well, maybe if we connect with the comedians and the pop culture people, you know, you know, maybe maybe that'll do it. This is a sign of a campaign in disarray and it's a little bit desperate. And and bo- a you know lot what, desperate. You know what the worst combination is, Tom? Boring and then fake. Fake and boring is at least, ha- like you said, have some excitement. Like, to, like I would respect her more if they t- talk about the border and finance. You know what she should say? You know what? I wasn't the president, but you know what? We, I will change. I will try to do X, Y, and Z. You know what? She's like, she could say, I'm not an economist, but you know what? I would hire Jamie Dimon to do this and do that. Give me something. Push back. Get, like, sell yourself. But she's not she, thinking that way. She doesn't not. have any of the thoughts. She is, she is vacuous. Yes. She doesn't have any. Yeah, she, like I said earlier, they're not worried about policy at all. Kamala Harris, none of these Democrats are worried about policy even a little bit. It doesn't even cross their mind. And the, the, the advantage that they have is it doesn't cross their voters' minds either. Like, this is still going to be a close race. Donald Trump still might lose this, even though Kamala Harris is going on The View and, and going on these shows and Patrick Bet David and all these guys on the PBD podcast are ripping her apart. There's a large section of America that just doesn't care. They're falling for the same trap that they fell for last election when it was Joe Biden saying, guys, my brain is barely hanging on to function right now, but... I'm not Donald Trump, so vote for me. And they all voted for him. He won the election. The same thing's happening with Kamala Harris. You know, they, they have nothing. If you're going to sit here and say that you're not going to change anything from Joe Biden's regime. I mean, obviously, Kamala Harris was part of that, too. But, you know, Sonny Houston asked her on The View, are you going to change anything from, from what Joe Biden did? I mean, look at the state of the country. The economy is, is, is in the trash. The, you know, the, the border situation is, is, is in total disarray. Look at the situation around the globe as well. Wars breaking out left and right that we have our hands in, you know? And, and that wasn't happening during Donald Trump. That's the, obviously, there was some war. There was some, you know, destabilization around the world for sure. There were some little hiccups, but there wasn't like borderline World War Three news coming out every single day under Donald Trump, you know? And we have that. We have crime rates. We have the border stuff. And she's sitting on The View and saying, yeah, I would probably change like nothing. You know, the, the main difference being that I am personally not Joe Biden. So there's a change there. It's like, oh, my God. And, and they're still going to vote for her. That's the black pill. Any of the thoughts you could say something without, you know, dissing your boss and say, well, you know what? Hindsight's 2020 and we could have gone back and we really could have done made some moves here to bring inflation down sooner. We went to the strategic petroleum reserve. Now we don't have that. Maybe we could have gone with a little opened up a little bit of the window on drilling and still not get sideways with the greens. And maybe that would have helped the economy there. You could say those two things. I could say those two things. Boom. Without even thinking for a half a second, yeah. that would give some sort of answer out there, but there's nothing because it's not on her mind because she wasn't in the room Mm -hmm. correct i'll I'll agree with Vinny, but i'll just add one more thing you said boring fake and then the third word sadly enough is electable because if you look at the polls it's still neck and neck it's a tight race sadly enough america could potentially get what it deserves if we actually elect this person then she is the commander in chief president of the united states which is still possible it's within three points right now you know the general election you know, they say elections have consequences. This is going to be the consequence of electing a boring, fake, unqualified candidate. Then you get the puppet and the machine. And, and, and the, by the way, and those people, and, those, and mind you, I'm not one of those Hillary Clinton talking about deplorables, but if you are just voting for Kamala Harris because she's not Donald Trump, I have zero respect for you. Well, that's, Ze- no, and, that's but, literally and I, what's happening. I don't, and I get that, but, the, what's yeah, but because she Adam, just said it. How many times yeah. has he said yeah. the case studies are in front of you? She's not going to do anything different 
and what Elon said about her being this puppet, nobody's trying to assassinate her. Nobody's trying to assassinate Biden. You know why? Because they are the establishment. They're the system. If you're, I, I can't, if you're just a regular, like, um, American, rich, whatever, how are you happy this past four years? Please sell me. Because all I hear is from people on the left, my cousins and everybody from Cali, well, the infrastructure, I go, dude, shut the hell up with the infrastructure. Turn on your TV. Look at everything and look where we are right now. How can you in your right mind just vote for her? And you can't see what's happening? Because the reality is most people live in echo chambers. Ugh. Most people are on one side and they're not willing to change or be reasonable. They cling to their beliefs. And how many people, think about this, what percentage of people actually go from being Republicans to Democrats to Democrats to Republicans. It's a few thousand, hundred thousand people in swing states to change every single election. Most people are fixed and that's it. Ugh. That's why every that's facts. That, that's definitely facts from Adam there. And I don't say that very often. I was actually, I wouldn't say that I was like a Democrat or anything, but I, I definitely, when it came to the cultural issues, I was, when I was younger, I was more like, um, I don't know, more on the woke side, I guess you would say. Like I, I wasn't really that mad about, what's happening in Hollywood with the, you know, the white people getting pushed out or anything like that. So I guess I'm one of the rare cases where I was, I wasn't a Democrat. I would never have voted Democrat, but I wasn't as, as far right as I am now, I guess you could say as anti-woke as, as I am now. So I think you can change. We see people like Anna Kasparian change and Tim Pool change and Joe Rogan and Russell Brand and all these guys change. So it is possible. But Adam is correct that it's not very likely. It doesn't happen very often. Most people don't actually know the the reality of what's happening. And that, that goes for right-wingers and left-wingers. You know, there's a lot of left-wing echo chambers for sure. There's also right-wing echo chambers where people just, they, they take that too far as well. Um, but let me know in the comments what you guys think about this ridiculous Kamala Harris interview clip. I mean, it just, it can't get much worse than that. Let me know in the comments what you think about what Patrick Ben David had to say and the rest of the PBD podcast crew. Let me know in the comments what you think about this whole Kamala Harris versus the PBD podcast situation.